Hey you guys, it's me, Vixdom23. Welcome back to some new Sim City and a new city. This is going to be a super city. This is where I'm going to apply everything I've learned from these cities, go across the water and make something that works really well. So here I am. This is what I have. This is where it's all going to be happening. So first of all, the only real thing I need to look at is wind direction so I can plan my industry. Okay, so it's that way. So I want industry there and there. And it's all going to be able to get out of the city nice and quickly through the highway. Have a trade depot there and there or supply or whatever it is. Mix up my commercial and residential down here. And just see how it goes. So as far as road structure is concerned, I better, I better get to work. Now, I'm not actually going to be transferring money over from my other region because I don't think that adds enough of a challenge. So first of all, we're going to add that to, I'd say, about there for now. I think that's about right. Let me think about it for a second. And... Yeah, I think that's going to be good for now. And then, in fact, money would make it so much easier because I could put in my whole road structure before I do anything else. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have this as it is. Then, of course, I'm going to need to start going out in this direction and this direction. So here we go. We already have the beginnings. Then this is going to... I'm going to go for kind of a square structure. Now, how am I going to add this corner on? What I'm actually going to have to do is I'm going to have to put that in. And I'll round the corners later on when I've got the money to do so. I'm just trying to think how this is all going to work out before I just go ahead and do things. So yeah, if I have one route going that oh wow, this is so costly. And have one route going that way. I'm just going to have to start off with a kind of design as it is. And then later on I'll have to uh, make it work. So of course, I've got to uh, imagine that that would be a road. And then I've got to kind of work out where I put this line in. I can't be guessing it really. What I would have to do is, if I guess about... There, just put that in very roughly at the moment. Wow, that even... Oh, wait, this is high density. Let's let's start off with medium density. So here we go. Let's guess that if that's 1.5, I'd say that's 1. And then have a look at the zoning on there. So if I was to put... Oh, right, we need power first. Let me see how I'm going to need the power. Not approved. Oh, connect to the highway. I am connected to the highway. Oh, wait, I need to play for a second. There we go. So I could put down one of these. What I'm actually going to do for power is I am just going to buy it from somewhere else for now. Oh, wait, no road connection, so no power can be bought. Oh, I am really on my own right here. Let me see just with regard to money. Could I even send money across? Or No, you need a road connection for that. Okay, so this is... I'm on my own here. I am truly on my own with this city. Guess it's going to have to be one of these old things. So here we go. I can place this. Oh, there's not much wind, is there, anywhere? No, it's going to be seven all around. Don't want to go for anything else. Right, that's going to have to be there for now, I believe. I'm wondering if it's actually worth putting a tiny little service road. You know, I think it is worth putting a tiny little service road. Maybe even just out from there. Oh, what the heck? I've gone outside my city. Oh, for a second I was panicking that it wouldn't let me destroy that. Literally. Oh, whatever. Um, where am I going to put this? In fact, you know what? Oh, if it's not going to let me... Let's just put it out from... In fact, let me work out the size of my wind turbine. So it's going to be... If I have it facing that way. No. Alright, let me just see that as a reference. Okay, I can do that for now. Let me just put it coming off there. Just don't want to waste any space at all if I can avoid it. Here we go, let's put this in. Ah, not quite enough room. Right, let's move it down a little bit. There we go, destroy this. May have to move it up again a little bit afterwards, but that's fine. Just getting things right from the start. Grab that. 
Um, looks like I'm going to go a tiny bit further and a little bit more out. Ah, oh, damn. Did not mean to do that. God damn. Oops. That was, uh... There we go. It's got to be there. I'm not sure if that terrain's actually going to mess it up. That's a bit of weird terrain right there. Come on. Third time lucky. Third time's a charm. There we go. Okay, it must have been that train that was just messing it up, but that'll go there for now. Yeah, whoa, what the heck is... Oh, it's like on a little slant, I see. I could have probably moved it a bit further back, but that'll do for now. I'm literally just going to stick a water tower um, on here as well. Oh, no, there's no real supply there. You know, screw it, it'll do for now. It's just going to be there for my humble beginnings. There we go. Put that there. We've got a bit of water. Series outflow actually needs to be somewhere else, so we'll do that later. Anyway, let's start looking at this. So, is that the same distance? Is that is that enough? It looks like that's going to be enough, doesn't it? For a, a max density plot. I'm going to have to compare this just so I don't run into issues down the line. Let me get lined up straight with that. Is that the same distance? How am I to know? How am I to know? I'd be tempted to say it needs bringing out a little bit, but... You know what? It's always safer to bring it out a little bit rather than in a little bit, because... It's fine if it's too... So... Let's go there. Let's do that. There we go. Here we go, we're going to have my first bit of commercial... That looks good, that looks good. Yeah, that looks right. And there we go, my first section. In fact, let's get it half and half, so we'll go. We'll have a bit of commercial as well. There we go, a bit of an alternating pattern. No particular structure to that, but uh, in fact, we'll put a tiny bit more of that on there. There we go, that is going to be the first division of my city. I can probably hit play now and watch things start to pick up. So there we go, people are going to start heading in. Now to think about where I go next. So I'm probably going to have maybe this continue. In fact, no, this is going to be rounded later on. This can head up to there. And then I'm going to have straight lines leading out from here, I believe. If I put that to there for now, this should... In fact, more centrally would be bet. Would it be better? Or would it not? That is the question. I'm thinking if I do a line that goes to there, then maybe have it loop in. Because you've got to think when people go to work, maybe even a cycle here would be good. A cycle that people can go in, they can go past all the factories around and back. I think that would be good. A cycle beginning here would be good. Oh, wrong street. I'm glad I got that sorted. So if I take it out from there, it's going to run to somewhere around there. Now, if I run it to there and begin, if I start there, I'd say that's going to be about right. We'll test that first. There we go. Is that the same distance? I'd say a little more would be safer safer than sorry. I'm just wondering if it's actually worth putting in Avenue as well. Maybe not. Well, we'll see. We can always we can always make big changes later on if we need to. Now, nah, that's surely too much. Is that going to I think that'll be the one. I think that'll be good like that. Then I can delete the little bit off the end there. Let me just try and put this in like that. Yeah, that looks about the right spacing. Okay, I'm going to run this lane down here. And then... I should be... Yeah, so now it's going to give me the right kind of line curving. So, uh, if I just head that all the way out to... Probably there for now. If that's the right line spacing from the edge as well. Now I need to. Is this is this going to be right? So I could get. I don't know if I trust this. Let me see. Okay, that was right. 
I'm just thinking now, you know, let's let's not do anything too much just yet. Let's start the zoning in this. I think I'm just going to zone this all for now. And we can always mess around with it later on. There we go, the strategy. The strategy going right in here. Already making nice profits, which is just going to help me expand new horizons. So, uh, let's get my next kind of housing district in. We'll just run that to there. And run that to there. And see, now I'm not doing, um, now I'm not doing avenue to thing. It's going to give me the right, oh, I'm out of money. Let me just think, would that be enough? Let me just see where this runs to again. It's not even going to show me. But yeah, I'd say that that kind of spacing. The thing is, do I want to uh, leave streets out and kind of add more in later or add more in now? That's a question. Another thing is, you know, a little strategy thing while we're building up some cash is that I'm going to have residential and commercial all around this area. Then the jobs are going to be up here and people are going to go up my town to get to work. So people, you know, my services are going to be down either side. So people go that way to get to school, fire engines go that way, people going to work go that way. So I'm kind of separating the grid um, into something that's going to work out nicely. Now my sewage pump actually needs to be placed in, so I may as well continue this cycle up to there somewhere. Now, which line, which guideline do I follow? I think I follow the top one. Yeah. Ah, someone's factory is going to have to die. Roads overlapping. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to have to continue that up a little bit. There we go, run that to there. And back down. The reason I'm doing more stuff here, in fact, let me see. Oh, is that enough space actually? Because it looked like it was kind of telling me that that's not going to be enough space. One thing that's probably worth doing is, in fact, we'll, we'll leave it as it is now. We'll zone it all, and if traffic becomes an issue later on, then we'll sort that out when that arises. So what are we going to do here? We're going to continue this out to the edge, just like that. And we'll stick a sewage pipe there just for now. There we go. Oh look, we've got boats just cruising past as well. So um, I'm going to aim to move my water supply down there, obviously, where it can be aquified. Wait, let me see this. Look at all this water. So much water. We'll move down there. Things are looking good. Things are looking like they're going to work. Okay, I can put in my next line of housing. So this is going to be kind of one line of houses per street. Or maybe I could do every other. We might have, well, should we change it now or should we change, you know, we can add in, huh, we can take out streets, we'll put in more streets than we need to now, it's easier to take out a street than try and fit in a new one when there's not room. How much is this going to cost again? It's going to be like eight grand. We'll continue the zooming up, so I'm going to have one industrial area here, one similar industrial area here, and maybe probably not even going to extend it down at all so these guys have got room to expand which is cool I'm just thinking about dezoning there and there just to the amount to the effect that would work but there's no major hurry where am I gonna put my town hall that is a good question ah oh, that corner would work nicely in fact do I get the benefit of other city halls that aren't road linked I'm not sure that I do where should we put this? Maybe stick it all the way up there. I'm just thinking how it's going to affect traffic, if at all. Um, it also has a positive effect on the people in the town. Really tempted just to stick it up there. Oh, I could do the old dirt track to my mansion thing again. Let's see how that goes. Because then it doesn't contribute to traffic on the... Uh, there we go. Just like that. There we go, that's that's a nice little parallel thing going on there. See, look, those won't have any effect on traffic there. If you see that anything coming out of those always gives priority. We can name it, what are we going to name it? Okay, so we've got a river. 
Something to do with a river. Um, Wessex Bend. It's actually a, it's a decent name. You know what? Randomly, I'm going to call it Waterby. Waterby, by the water. <laughs> that was honestly completely random. I hadn't even pre-thought about that. What do we want? Okay, yep. Uh, we'll get some more commercial for now. Right, we should be good for this. Kabam. So, if, yeah, we're just going to get kind of... I don't know if it's worth actually going... Well, I've paid for that now, so I've got to make use of it. I wonder if it's... Uh, if I'm looking for efficiency at the moment. Let's split it up into little quadrants. Just like this. There we go, we've got all that going on. At least, you know, the traffic issues should be lessened down these routes here. If anything at all. So I need to start thinking about this space here as well. Maybe I should have taken those a bit further out. But I didn't want to make these roads too long. You'll see this is actually kind of what I started to do over in Astral. That really failed. So hopefully the same isn't going to happen here. I think it's looking already like it's going to work out a little better than there. Especially when I start rounding these off and that kind of stuff. Okay, so. And it's so it's nice at this point in the game. You know, it doesn't feel like there's a huge amount of pressure to get everything spot on because it doesn't, you know, not everything has huge implications. Let's start to think about my next region as well. So this time I'm definitely going to just um, put it there. Oh, I can afford that already. Let's go with that already. And again, we'll alternate it a bit. I think this, this could be a good kind of structure. Probably going to need actually a little more commercial on this side. So we're going to go a little more residential. Sorry, that was on this side. We'll go like that. It's looking nice. It's looking nice. Um, you need more workers. So that's good that I put in more of... Um, in fact, let's make these zones a little more residential. Got to get all them workers. That should be good. We actually do have quite a lot of commercial. What is that high? Res yeah, really high residential demand actually. But everything else is filling up. Um, the next one, I'll make sure I emphasise more residential. So we're filling it up nicely, which is good to see. I'm hoping this kind of lining is going to work nicely. I'm probably going to put an avenue in as my next section. Let's let's just well, we've got money. This city's actually making profit like it's no man's business. So, if we were to continue this to here, what I'm actually going to do is uh, we'll go a bit further while we've got the cash. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to work out the correct dist. Now, this would be correct for the street now. I don't know if it's going to guideline me right on this. So it's not. I'm going to need to go a bit closer in. You know what? If I dezone and rezone and just kind of remember it with my memory. Okay, so that's... Okay, I can see where it needs to be. It needs to be just after that one. Grab this. I think that... Oh. We'll give it a time. There we go. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. Yeah, I don't want 1.5 large lots, I want just the one. So here we go, this is going to be a nice three route. And actually, if I just zone one side of it, it's going to be even more effective as a through route. So let's go for basically near enough. Let's make this a commercial road. Because that means there's if I put, um, sorry, if I make it purely residential, if I make it commercial, then that could increase traffic on it. Anyway, um, we've made really nice progress for the first first 20 minutes in this brand new city. I'm feeling confident. I'm ready to go. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Leave some thoughts in the comment section. I'm going to take this at a slower pace, get some feedback from you guys.